today we're gonna be talking about quick, easy meals. So I'm a guy, I'm a bachelor, I don't have some you know crazy, crazy culinary skills. So I have come to learn how to create things that are tasty, that work for me, that are healthy, but yet also very um, appealing to a guy that doesn't know how to cook. So things like macaroni and cheese, things like spaghetti, these are all things I try to put a healthy spin on that, you know, it's, so it doesn't get boring. Because so many times we get caught up in eating the same things, which leads to so many, so many problems. So today, we're gonna be making a little healthy spaghetti. It's gonna be low carb too. Now, I'm not a big fan of low carb. Um, you know, I, I definitely think the low carb craze It'll get you lean, but it's just not healthy. Um, so I never go super low carb, but I will be doing low carb noodles this time. These are shirataki noodles. So I don't know if you've ever heard about these. Um, they are a lifesaver when you are cutting for a show. They have four grams of carbs for this whole thing, three of which are dietary fiber. So really one net carb. I mean, basically they're nothing, but they're made from, um, so in, in cognac, Cognac flour, it's a kind of a root, um, kind of like a sweet potato type thing. Um, there's chickpea flour, some potato starch. Um, so there's not a lot of ingredients in these, but they're filling, they kind of serve their purpose. I'm not saying they taste as good as normal noodles. If you're allowed to have carbs and you're it's a high carb meal for you, you know, like, you know, post-workout and you want, you know, some brown rice noodles or some quinoa noodles, have at it. I'm doing this today to show you an alternative to, you know, a, a high calorie spaghetti. But it's gonna be pretty simple. We're using 99% fat-free turkey. What we're gonna do right off the bat. Um, you know, turkey obviously, great source of protein. This is super, super lean too, 99% fat-free. So we're getting a ton of protein in there. A complete protein with all the amino acids. Um, you know, I love if it fits your macros, but a lot of the things it doesn't consider is bioavailability of protein. You know, what kind of food sources are you getting? Are they the most calorically dense? But anyhow, what we're gonna do right off the bat, I have my pan heating up here, as you can see by that smoke. We're just gonna start by warming up, by cooking our, our turkey. This is a really fast, easy meal. We're smoking here. Come on now. Dump this in, it'll sizzle. So that's gonna take about 10 minutes to cook. We're gonna break it up and start messing around with it. Um, the pasta sauce I'm using today it tastes better when they're in the right season. For these guys, now these things don't smell great. What we gotta do is we gotta blanch them. So we're gonna boil some water, we're gonna put them in, blanch them for about two minutes, um, and then we're gonna drain them, pat them dry, and keep them warm in the pot until we're ready to use them for our spaghetti. Um, did I say blanch? I think I did. They're calling, here they're saying parboil, which is just the exact same thing. Just put them in a bunch of, uh, in some boiling water and then you're gonna drain them. Anyhow, we're gonna cut these open right now. Get out enough of our pasta sauce for two servings. Wow, can you even get that open? So, we're gonna do a half cup here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take it off the heat. I don't want the pasta sauce to start burning. Little little tiny tips like that, little tiny differences. You know, the, the taste is actually isn't all that much different, but the macros in it are so much different that it's so worth it, because I feel like, you know, mainstream, you know, if you go to a restaurant and you get, you get this meal, it's about, if you add the toast in there as well with the pasta, that's you know, something I would never eat, but, you do it like this, and it tastes good. You're doing it with all organic ingredients. 
You know, the cheese obviously is a little bit, I wouldn't call that one organic, but I'm gonna throw some Ezekiel bread in here as well. Throw some garlic toast on there. And that would be like an easy 18 to 2,500 calories where this is gonna probably be about 400 calories. Again, I'm not claiming to be a gourmet chef by any means, but these meals are my way of keeping things balanced, of not, you know, going to Olive Garden. It took me so long to haven't been there in, in such a long time. It took me a, a while to, to think of that, but it, it keeps me from craving these types of things. It's a fun, easy, nutritious meal that, you know, I'll, I'll sacrifice something like that cheese. You know, it might, it might not be ideal, but guess what? If it's gonna keep me from going out and craving a cheesy pasta dish, you bet I'm gonna eat it. So I'm gonna do about a third of this on top of that. A third, a third, a third. You could weigh it out. If it was contest prep, I'd be weighing it out. But since it's not, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Right there. You can always do more, more, um, you know, if you wanna wait till the end to add the noodles or add the sauce, um, you can. But that right there, I'm not gonna use it. Eh. See, again, this is me not knowing what I use this fork for. I'm just gonna eat off of it. Probably throw some more, uh, some more pepper on top. But again, that took all of about 10 minutes, start to finish, easy peasy. We're gonna see how it tastes. We're gonna give it the whole taste test here. If you want, add some French, or some, some toast to it. And here we go. Mm, mm -hmm. Just like I thought, that fennel comes in there nice. The pasta sauce actually isn't as powering as I thought. I thought it was gonna, when I tasted it, it tasted, it had a little bit more um, pow there. I probably could use a little bit more sauce on here. Again, if you use more sauce just, and you're keeping track of calories, just put it in there. But easy, it'd be easy to put in my little six pack container and take with me on the go. Mm. If I knew Italian, I would say something in Italian about my pasta here. Bon appetit. I can't even think of what I'm supposed to be. What is the what is the term they used? I don't know. When the moon hits your eye like a big piece of pie, the samore. Something like that, you know. All right, that is it for our Swolger spaghetti here. Steve Cook Health, thank you for watching. Come back next time. We'll have something else easy for you to cook. Kind of like college, you know, we don't have exotic recipes, but they're healthy. They get the job done, keep you looking at aesthetic and healthy.